Hey guys, we are coming off of a couple heartbreaking losses with Team USA women. Let's first talk about April and Carrie lo losing earlier in the week. Yeah, April and Carrie in the semifinals taking on Barbara and Agatha of Brazil. That's quite possibly one of the more rough matches I've ever seen them play. Carrie was really struggling on serve receive. They were targeting her with everything. Brazil, for their part, played the match of their lives. They looked amazing out there, so they just didn't give an inch, and there was nothing April and Carrie seemed to be able to do to put together points. So, lost that one, eliminated their chance to get gold, but they found some redemption in the bronze medal match, beating Talita and Larissa. Which some thought that was going to be the gold medal match between yeah. those two teams. And we came out a little shaky. We started to see some of the same struggles that Kerry was facing in that semifinal match. But luckily they turned around and they finished looking like the, the team that we know them to be. Yeah, some really good redemption for them. Awesome to see them on the podium, even if it was bronze and not the gold that they originally wanted. Yeah. Then today, heartbreaking loss for our women's indoor team against Serbia in five. Oh, this was my favorites to win gold, and it was just not what I expected to see. Yeah, first set looked good. Second set, Faluka Akinradawu goes down with a knee injury, landing on one foot off of a block. First she tried to play through it, it was just not happening. She came out, she was all taped up with some ice, didn't make it back in for any of the rest of the match. Which is huge for us because she was killing on the slide still, huge part of off offense, opening it up for our outside pins. Yeah. So we take that out, we became a little predictable. And we got to see Krista Dietzen come in. She didn't really get into an offensive rhythm in the beginning, so there was definitely the loss on that. But she had some key blocks throughout the match. Um, we had Kim Hill struggling a lot in serve receive, so we got to see Robinson come in, who did a great job passing. But same thing, not a big offensive threat. She was getting stuff blocked at least three or four times in that match. And then we saw Murphy struggle a lot, and uh, got to see Carcelo come in, and who played, I thought, her best Olympic performance. Absolutely, and tragic for her to get that best Olympic performance in such a heartbreaking loss, but love to see her contributions, finally having her team trust her to set her in big moments, running that big out of the back row. So good performance for Lowe, wish to have seen it in better circumstances. Mm -hmm. She became our go-to hitter, which was awesome to see her carry that much weight. But we still had our service issues, yeah. we couldn't keep the ball in play in a lot of points, and it came unfortunately at a very clutch time in the fifth set when the score was 13-13, and Adams missed, giving Serbia a match point. Hearts just dropped when we saw that. Yes. Obviously it never comes down to one play, nobody's fault, we hate to be in that situation where that bumps it that for them set match point, but then they scored on their, I believe, the right side attack and match was over. Yeah, awful way for the USA team to not make it to gold, but it was a true battle and a really intense, I won't say it was fun to watch, it was more Love intense, down. anxious, but it was a thrilling match. Yep, so they'll play for bronze on Saturday, and up next we have our men's indoor playing tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern. In the semifinals versus Italy, their final hope for a USA gold in volleyball. So let's Come on, go, guys. USA. See you guys later.